Yep, so I just got done with a game out here. Some 12 year game. Guess what? Top of the second inning, I just called it because I'm not doing this anymore. A local baseball umpire took to social media to vent his frustrations with the current state of youth sports. Stupid ass catcher. Drops the glove six inches because he was upset about two calls earlier in the game. So he drops his glove. I get hit in the face. And then all I'm doing is getting his at by the head coach and the fans the entire game. So I just left. So they can go figure it out and finish that game. One can relate to the frustrations because parents and players alike have provided plenty of material. Are we watching the same game, Blue? Come in. Get out of here. Oh, make better calls. Get out of here. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. You're gone. You're gone. Your vision's gone. He was heckled previously by this fan. You're gonna have to leave the park. What? Because the umpire threw you out of No, he didn't. No, he's been making horrible calls on it. So you need to leave. I gotta leave? Yes. The field? Yes. Right. Even though he's yes, making sir. horrible calls on it, yes. I had to let him know. You don't need to let him know. That's a coach's job. Where this heckler got thrown out, however. In a follow-up duet on TikTok, the ump and heckler let bygones be bygones. Still, the problem persists in youth sports. In the state of Wisconsin, one head coach would point out how the average crews refereeing various games are over the age of 50, a clear sign of the times. One referee named Kyle Schofield told the Concord Monitor, why do you want to be on the field getting yelled at or the guy that a coach is confronting after a game? That's a tough sell to a 20-year-old. Amen. Though he works in New Hampshire, he told the outlet of a time he was refereeing in Arizona, quote, I had a guy try to pull a gun on me, he said, thinking back on his time working in the state. He said, hey, I have a gun in my truck. I'm going to go get it and shoot you. In Indianapolis, Indiana, more of the same. Kevin Lewis has over three decades of experience in the field. He told Fox 59 of the reckless and belligerent parents he has had to endure and readily admits it is a plague on the industry. An NBC affiliate in Minnesota would report 50,000 referees quit since the coronavirus surfaced in March of 2020. Chris Manning of Ticker wrote, Sporting organizers say it's getting harder and harder to find referees to officiate games. The crisis could lead to fewer play opportunities, locally disrupted sports schedules, more travel demands for local teams, and trouble ahead as Northern Michigan looks to invest in new sporting venue infrastructure. Frankly, we just keep hearing stories like these. We keep hearing them over and over and over again. And in the state of Minnesota, lawmakers have pushed forward legislation that could potentially set a precedent, but this needs to be federally. I'm seeing this so many times of unruly parents, the examples that they set, it trickling down to managers, managers' attitudes trickling down to the players. And then you have this conclusion where, let's be very clear about this, an umpire is assaulted because a catcher is mad about something that happened to him when he was in the batter's box, not being given a call he didn't like, and intentionally drops his glove for the umpire to be hit in the face. Imagine if this was a high school prospect who's going to be drafted into the major leagues, which is a thing if you're unaware of how Major League Baseball drafts are. Umpires are getting threatened. They're getting assaulted. They're getting beaten. I know there was less turnover from when COVID happened, as we went over in this piece, how 50,000 referees left their posts. But these attitudes that are going into sports when it should be enjoyable competitive but enjoyable is unfortunate as much as it is damning about how the adults are acting like children when they're in the stands the best thing to do sit there enjoy the game cheer on your team if you like but do not bring this sort of mindset into it because the only thing that's going to happen because these people are not getting paid a lot to do these jobs the only thing that's going to happen is there's going to be 
less and less refs, which means a greater chance that there are less sanctioned sports happening. I saw one quote real quick that said, without referees, it's a glorified recess. And I think that speaks volumes to where we are today.